Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Life with Tisha 1000. Welcome, welcome, welcome y'all. So today, we are coming to you guys with a reaction from, um, um, Dier and Ken, all that, you know, D DK4L and everything like that. You know, I want to see what they're going to say and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on, but... I'm reacting to it and I wanted to react with you guys, you know. And if I have something to say, I would in, in the middle of it or at the end. But I really don't like the pause and stuff. But if I have to, I will. Um, so I'm just giving y'all a heads up so you won't think I'm doing it on purpose and nothing like that. But yeah, before we get into it, you guys can do me a very big favor. If you could subscribe to my channel, Life with Tisha 1000, like my videos on up, y'all hit the like button, share my videos, make sure your notification bell is on so you won't miss any of my content. Make sure you comment down below to let me know how you enjoyed it and if you saw it, what was your thoughts on it and what do you think they should have done and not done. Just let me know in the comment section and everything like that and I would gladly you know, appreciate that, and you can help me get, if you can help me get to 100k subscribers, y'all, I would gladly appreciate that also, I have goals, you know, that I'm trying to reach, and by you guys doing that, it's really helping me and my channel overall, and it's also helping you not miss any of my content, um, by you keeping your notification bell on, making sure it's on at all times, because I post consistently, um, yeah, with that being said, y'all, let's get right into it. Okay. They showing the um place that they looking for or they might be possibly buying. That's why you hear the silent. Okay, so right there, um, I don't, I just seen Ken. I don't know if he, assuming that, like, I don't know if he putting out there that he could be buying his own place. And he's just giving us, like, a little look on how it's going to be. Or they could be shopping together. So, I don't even know if they still together or not. But, um, so far, he just showed himself in the mirror really quick, like a quick one. And then he starts showing the rest of the house. So, let's get into that. I don't know, like, it looks like as if he's buying the place.
he was rubbing her booty like crazy. Okay. Okay, we got receipts. Okay, they just showing a lot of receipts on text messages and stuff like that. So, it's basically exposing them of him and the girl texting or writing back and forth with each other. So, that's what I'm looking at right now. That's why it's quiet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah is writing. Okay, now we have the air writing somebody. Hmm. Okay. It's a lot of back and forth with writing and stuff. It's a lot of exposing messages and it's like going quick. It's like popping up, disappearing, popping up to the next one, popping up. I just wanted the truth to to let her know. What was that truth? wow um to me i feel like when you think that you can trust someone that you love so much and knowing the person that you with you know do you like okay let me backtrack on that so you can get what i'm saying when you love someone so much okay when you love them you don't try to test them by going out and humiliating them by doing something so foolish that you wouldn't like for them to do to you like it's crazy she's looking crazy but now it's up to her to either take him back or you know keep it pushing with her life like beyonce and jay-z he done so much to her but she still love him through it all even though she put fire under his ass now don't get it wrong i know beyonce be making that nigga like you know i know she be making him really you know feel the fire but at the same time she loving him and showing him like look i'm still gonna be here but you need to respect me better than this because you humiliated me so i can't say that i will be okay with that because i don't condone into cheating and i feel like that's a bad bad thing to do you just don't do that to someone that you married to and i'm married so it's like my husband turn around and try to play with me like that it's not happening 
um he gonna have to really do some 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 you know but God will have to step in for him because I don't, I just, if I'm putting all my trust into you and I'm confining you, I look at you as my best friend, you know, my other half, my better half, and you just go and just desert me like that by making a fool out of me, that's crazy. Because that's testing me to see if I'm going to really sit there and let you do it. And then once I let you get away with it one time, you're going to try it another. And that one time can just be, you know... a lot to digest and take in that's a very big pill to swallow so i don't know what her condition is that she's in but i just can sit there and let him do something like that to me especially it happened over and over and over you know and if she forgave you the first time king you should not be going and you know backtracking and doing it all over again i just feel like that's crazy and it's messed up you know i wish the best for her and i hope she get through it i hope they get through it because they built a lot together and they was engaged and everything like that but you know when you really love someone you don't do that you know and i'm a woman of the truth because my husband been locked up for over 10 years in prison and i have not stepped out on him not one time because i love that man so much I love that man so much. I just wouldn't do it. And a lot of women ask me, how do you do it, girl? I would have had a side nigga. It. Not me. I love my husband enough not to do that. You know, and I would strongly, heartily believe that he wouldn't do that to me. Because if he did, oh my God, it would be bad for him. But um, it is now going on 11 years now. Well, now this was the 11th year. And it's fit to be 2021. That will be 12 years and counting that me and him been going strong. And I've been waiting on him because he, you know, he's locked up and everything. And I'm riding, you know, I'm holding him down and everything. And I'm waiting on my husband to come home. And he will be home soon, you know. So, yeah, I'm a real one. I don't, I don't condone in that. And I don't even know what it feels like to be a cheater or be cheated on. I, I you know, I, you know, as in a married wife, so... Yeah, I'm gonna just leave y'all with that note. Don't cheat on someone that you love because it can be your it can be just by you cheating, you can lose everything. So yeah, with that being said, if y'all can subscribe to my channel, like a teacher 1000 like my videos on up, share my videos, make sure your notification bell is on so you won't miss any of my content. And make sure you comment down below. Let me know how you enjoyed it. It was very silent. It was a lot of, you know proof of them texting and all that stuff then at the end it was a little video so y'all let me know how you enjoyed it and if you saw it and everything like that and i will put in the um title so you can know what i looked at maybe you want to go and look it up and everything like that with that being said y'all all love here no hate no negativity at all and i'll see y'all on the next one peace